Well it's Saturday morning and so far we've got the nice bright uh, skies and um, what I thought I'd just do before I do um, take you up in the grow room, not on this video though to show you some of the blooms, um, I was thinking about this um, particular orchid I had from uh, Mark and it's Catacetum Orchid Glade uh, Davy Ranchies. And I've just watched Stephen Van Kempen Lewis's uh, video. And this is the time of year, of course, that um, they produce the new bulbs and the new roots for this growing season. But you'll see here, we've got active growing roots. See? And um, uh, even there, you see. But he was saying also the worst thing for catacetums is um, not being secure. And I thought this is not secure enough. He says if the, the roots aren't secure, if this bulb isn't secure, then these roots could, um, could abort. Now, have you noticed that one? This is the one I did a while ago. Um, and uh, I eventually... If you remember, this split open and I eventually managed to scaffold it together and uh, that little, you'll see there, you see that little new growth now, how it's producing uh, those roots and those roots will start heading down and uh, I give everything a chance, you know. Who remember this one last year? Signology's wine delight. There we go. So I thought, well, this morning I'd got this little tiny plastic container, and I put some uh, this um, scour at the bottom, otherwise known as EpiWeb, but it isn't EpiWeb. And um, I just manoeuvred this catacetum. What well, what what bits are left of it? And he did try this little bulb. And I thought, well, I'll, you know, it's not cost, well, it did cost me, it was €19.50. Euro but the effort to just see whether or not I can save this. Um, and I've got two little holes here. So I'm going to do nothing with that now. It's going to go upstairs. Because during this period now, this is like their uh, dormant period. But of course, you'll see with this one, there's no dormancy there, is there? Anyway, so what I thought I'd do is uh, gently, see if I can gently, gently, that's my word, gently, lift this out, now whether, oh look at that, isn't that wonderful, you see? That's little bark, look at that. And uh, let's bring that here. I've got some bark. Let's bring it down so we can, if I just try and bring it down a bit. No, you won't go down any further. So what I have to do, I have to reduce my legs. There we go. I know the darn thing doesn't tipple over. Don't you dare. Right. Are we any better? Yes, we are. Okay. So we've got the uh, scourer there. And... Uh, Stephen Van Kemp and Lewis said you don't have to put small bark in. He says you can put large bark. So let's just have a look. There you see. That's quite good, isn't it? Am I at the wrong angle? That better? What 
I'm trying to do is, let's see, I'm trying to allow it to sit there because it's used to the bark. There we go, you see. But I wanted it a little bit lower in that part. So how am I going to get around that now? I mean, Stephen just uses cypress mulch now, and uh, let's just have a look. Right. Okay. So I'm going to have to stake it now. So let me go and get a stake. In focus now, and uh, so that's the newest bulb, the one that's got the uh, the nice leaf structure on, and uh, and that's the one that's produced these roots. But what I'm trying to do is uh, just trying to. Just put a little bit more bark. Just round the edges here. Oh dear, I can hear Keith sneezing away. Right. With a bit of luck. Um, I don't want to disturb these active growing roots. But at some point... some point I've got to start watering to allow these new roots here can you see them there to make the way down okay so let's first of all see if I can put a stake in here See where they look go down. And of course, what am I hitting? I'm probably hitting a big piece of bark. I'm trying to make sure I don't take that newly emerging root off. Just take this bit of sphagnum moss back a little bit. Can you see what I'm doing now? There we go. Right. Can you see? We've already got roots going down into this media. Marvellous. Right. Ah, that's a good steak. That's a good steak. And we've got a root there. Can you see that root there as well? in a second. All I'm going to do now is just backfill 
fill this area with sphagnum moss and then tuck it all in and let's see trying to make sure I don't break those roots I actually could have just maneuvered that Little area. What I'm wanting to do then is to bring these two. I'll show you in a minute. Let's do what I'm doing first, and then we can have a look after. such a lot of um, moss doing it this way but if you don't pack it down Hoping at some point this will go into dormancy. it's using more moss because I'm using a wider container. will look like. That'll be a nice surprise. Okay. So this will go back upstairs and I'm hoping let's put some of this moss around here. That those newly emerging roots will soon add down into it. Okay. Now, what will that do, do you think? to do now let's just tie these two let's bring it up a bit now what I'm wanting to do now is just tie these two stakes together where's my wrap here somebody said yesterday when I was doing that other mountain video you know how to use the both uh, Fishing lines, why didn't you use raffia? <laughs> oh, I haven't even thought about it and I've got some as well. Right. So. Oops. Let's see. Go around here. around this one.
seems to be, that other one seems to be quite a bit lower than that one. You know, I'm not too sure, hold on. No, we don't get it right the first time, don't worry, just start again and I'll see whether or not you can bring everything together. It's lovely and packed in as well. Well, that's just how it goes. See if we can pack it in again. See, that's where one of the roots is heading. So we're all right there. We haven't broke anything so far. Let's take this wrap here out. Let's tuck a bit more down here. No, I'm still not happy. Because what I want to do is try and get that those roots to come down a little bit better. Just let me have a think about it. Right, so what I've done now is try to remove some of this um, sphagnum moss. Some of it's really stuck, so I can't remove it all. But you see this, we've got this back bulb here, this one. And then we've got this bulb here. And then we've got this new one that's emerging. Okay. And what I don't want, or I'm not happy with, is the fact that this new bulb... Is um, sitting too high. See what I mean? Now, if you, something tells you to, uh, it's not right. Then just go with your gut instinct. Stakes are gone, and uh, what I'm trying to do is place that little back bulb in this corner. Let me see. And then I'm going to allow this newly emerging pseudo bulb to come forward. But what I need to do is some moss down here and I'm 
opinan. That, uh, oops, got another big root here. stake back so I might just stake it here that's okay I'm gonna stake it there that one wants to still So how are we doing? Not too bad. <laughs> she says. <laughs> I've still got a lot of moss to put back in, but... Give them nice and gentle. As I pressurise this down. So far I've not had any roots cracking, so let's bring these two canes together and tie them. And hopefully let's see if I can just bring it down a little bit. Because what I'll try and do is just bring that suitable bin. Concentration it takes. Now we're doing for time. Goodness gracious.
thank you for bearing with me. Right, so there's that. I wanted it to come a bit straighter actually, that bulb. But I've got to be careful. Because I've got this stake here. I could actually just bring it, can you see how I can just bring it a fraction bit, which I might do off camera. And then I'll just fill that little hole in there. So that'll just bring that slightly forward. The rest of the moss is fine. And I've got a couple of roots there. See the stakes down into that corner, one of them. And uh, I can't see any of the other root yet. And there's the two holes. So we're going fine there. And I'll just finish off by showing you. Uh, this is one I've done this morning. And this is, um, I don't know how this has uh, survived since 2016. On Sidian Bowieye species. But I thought, well, there goes. It's come out of that pot that one came out of yesterday. And with all those nice roots, and uh, I thought I'll blow it. I'm going to put it in here and see whether this one survives. So, uh, thank you for joining me in this uh, catacetum repotting. And uh, I'll keep you updated as, uh, as the months progress. There we go. So, from me to you, take care. Bye-bye now.